Hello, welcome back to new castle vlog. Today we will visit Tynemont Castle and Newcastle Castle. And if you are new here and you like castles, consider to subscribe my channel. So if you're ready, let's go. The priory was founded early in 7th century and had been the burial place for three kings. First one was Oswin. King of Deira in northern England and was murdered in 651. The second one was Osred II, who had been the king of Northumbria from 789 to 790 and was also murdered in 792. The third king to be buried at Tynemouth Castle was Malcolm III, King of Scotland, who was killed at the Battle of Annick in 1093. The priory was destroyed by the Danes in 875. Look at those windows. Look how, how tall the window is. Small church. Very beautiful how they how they built the, this building. Very beautiful. Look at the ceiling. It's very beautiful here. If you just look this way, basically there is a cliff. Very very steep cliff to go, go down. In 1095, Robert Mowbray took refuge in Tynemouth Castle after rebelling against William II. William besieged the castle and captured it after two months. Mowbray escaped to Bamburgh Castle, but subsequently returned to Tynemouth and was imprisoned for life for treason. It's believed that at the time of Robert Mowbray captured in 1095, there was a castle on the site consisting of earthen ramparts and wooden stockade. <laughs> In the 19th century, the castle was used as a barracks, and during the Second World War, the castle was used as a coastal defense. Newcastle Castle was built on a site occupied since Roman times. Ed and Timber Martin Bailey Castle was erected by Robert Goodhouse, eldest son of William the Conqueror, in 1080. Unfortunately, nothing reminds of the Martin Bailey Castle now. Henry II replaced it with a rectangular stocky, which, which one was built between 1172 and 1177, which one is behind me. It's kind of impressive, impressive keep. The great outer gateway to the castle, called the Black Gate, was built between 1247 and 1215 by Henry III. So basically the gate gatehouse is right here and, uh, and the keep is behind the, the train bridge as you can see. Some houses also built in 1800s. Additional protection to the castle was provided late in the 13th century when stone walls were constructed to enclose the town. Oh, this is the great hall. The ceilings are so high. We're almost on the roof. The fortified in 1643, during the English Civil War, the castle's 1,500 strong royalist garrison was besieged 
before finally surrendering to Scottish army, comprising 40,000 troops. During the 16th to the 18th century, the castle keep was used as a prison and also as a court. Thank you for watching. If you are new here and you like castles, consider to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you on next video. As you can see, that was the entrance to one of the small towers.